Hi, how are you doing? Hope you are well and safe and having a great day. I'm having a great day, it's still really early. I've been up, had a cup of tea and uh, produced this little sketch. As you know, I've been out and about sketching with a mate of mine and I've developed this uh, technique which sort of um, produces results like this. And I thought it'd be really nice to share that with you because it's something I've developed over the past few weeks you can, I'm painting in uh, Procreate for this one, but you can use any app, you can use Critter or Rebel or you know, anything you like really, it will work if you can find a uh, charcoal type brush in your app. Uh, uh, that's all you're gonna need for this one. And the beautiful thing about it is you can take your iPad out, you can sketch outdoors, or you can just use this technique to produce little thumbnail sketches uh, to give you ideas before you get into producing uh, a full-blown finished piece. So, um, how do I do it? Let's get into the video and find out. So I've been out and about sketching uh, with a mate of mine for a, a few uh, a few weeks. And this is uh, a photo of one of the walks we went on. We went on went to a place called the Attenborough, I think it's called the Nature Sanctuary, something like that. So they've got lots of bird uh, hides and things where you can go and watch the wildlife. So I, I took this photo and I was trying to develop a way of sketching that was really quick, but looked um, quite dynamic. So I'm just gonna pull up Procreate. Um, oops, go back to the gallery. And I'm just going to show you a few of the um, sketches that I've done. So I, I started off doing sort of pencil sketches like this, which are okay, but they're all kind of a little bit flat. Uh, this is an old couple we met that had been sitting on this log, uh, not literally for 30 years, but they'd been uh, going for a walk in this park. This is a different place, actually. And they always used to sit here and have a cup of tea. Uh, so I was sort of sketching like that and, and and I was doing sort of pen and ink sketches and things and um, all in Procreate, by the way. And and I was trying to develop a style that um, would be really quick to do and spontaneous, but gave, you know, quite a bit of impact. And it started to evolve uh, with this one where I, I was using um, a pencil a charcoal pencil or, or brush um, and then I developed it further with this and I'm thinking I'm getting somewhere now uh, I'm getting somewhere uh, and then I came up with this and this is the scene that we're going to re reproduce today this one um, which I uh, really really like go back to the gallery there's one more to show you and this one of uh, sort of a little rock seen by the by the water so how did i do this well first of all i'm just going to slide that across a little bit further to give me more uh, space to work with i always use this um as a sort of split screen for my uh, images when i'm working in procreate I, I really like that so i'm going to go back to gallery create a new image and i'm going to use a 24 by 16 inch 300 dots per inch image and my brush I'm going to use the soft pastel I'm just going to work with one brush all the way through it's in charcoal brushes this is uh, ships with procreate you don't have to go on it down or anything it's a default brush and I've also got it set up or I should have it set up oh I've got fine charcoal let's set it to the same soft pastel for the eraser okay because we're going to use lots of eraser with this and we're going to use um, lots of, of drawing and then I'm going to set my color to black uh, and that's it um, really quick easy way so what what did I do well I sort of whacked up the size of the brush first of all so it's sort of three quarters yeah three quarters uh, full size uh, maybe maybe even bigger and I just sort of start thinking about where these sort of leave 
uh, shrub and branches and, and leaves and things. Well, not there's many leaves because it's still winter up here. I just sort of get that in, just sort of cover. Just cover the paper. It just blends out quite nice. And then I think about where the water line is going to be. Sort of there. Actually, it's a bit higher up, isn't it? About there. I'll make the brush a bit smaller now, perhaps. Not too small. I just sort of. Um, that might be a bit thin. I'm just going to take the razor a minute, back the size up a bit, just get rid of some of that. It's not too bad, is it? Actually, I could leave it like that. And uh, this is such a fast way. I wanted a really quick way of sketching, uh, and it was cold when we did this. It was really bitterly cold. Some more darks, you know, really dark. All done on one layer. This is an absolute doddle to do. A few uh, horizontal strokes for the water in there like that. So you can see how it's sort of shaping up. Maybe a few. I wanted to put some grasses in. Look, flick a few grasses in if you want. This is going to be a really fast, fast video. And I was doing this sort of, you know, outdoors, live as it were. Take the eraser, get a nice size. It might be a little bit too, um, too thick. Just stick it down a little bit. That's it. Oh. And then I could just draw in my uh, trees. Actually, going to thicken thicken them up a bit. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to step back. I'm going to make it a bit thicker. Probably, probably right the first time. And I like things like that. This one can be a bit thinner. Uh, still set and I can now think about some uh, darker branches so I can go back to my pencil see how quick this is it's just such a fast way of drawing Flip back to between the eraser again. I want another sort of light one in. I'm changing it slightly. Um, well, we've got lights and darks, maybe a little bit. Uh, why did I do that? I didn't want to change the color. That's not black now. Let's go back to black. Eraser, uh, I want. A bit thicker. go and what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to the pencil I'm just gonna if you look at these see how these are sort of dark here and then they become lighter there and there so I could sort of I could put some sort of dark in like that let them become lighter a bit yeah don't forget this works in absolutely any app at all does not have to be procreate you can definitely do this in critter you could do it in rebel so give it a go I'm just thinking maybe let's just step back a bit that looks a little bit labored try I try and get it in one stroke if I can. 
That's better. There, there we go. That's nicer. That's it. That's make make it a bit easier for putting in these uh, branches now. Little wispy ones. Like that. There we go. In actual fact, that could be drawn in as well. One down there. Can use the smudge brush just to and the bottom of them a bit and then put in some grasses. Just in the uh, thickness of the brush all the time. And then I can go in with the eraser again and think about putting in some more some more of these twigs and things. <coughs> Got this sort of hacking and stuff down here. Just to, you know, add a bit of variety just by changing the thickness of that stroke a bit. There we go. Super fast, super easy. But what a really nice looking effect that impresses all your friends. <laughs> I was getting loads of people coming and having a look and the like you can draw on an iPad, oh my god, that's amazing. Um why didn't I know you could do that sort of thing, you know, lots of that going off. I don't think I need any light branches up there. Perhaps not 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 really. Uh, we could do a little bit of reflection in the water though, couldn't we? You can adjust the opacity as well if you want. Just so you can get that water reflection going off a little bit there. You could use the um, smudge brush. Turn that down a bit. Just to give it a little bit of water there. There we go. One really quick sketch. Sign it. So for everybody that was asking for uh, me doing some work on different apps instead of Critter all the time and Rebel and maybe using Procreate for the iPad. There we are. That's it. We've I've done it for you. Um, sketching on the iPad. I absolutely love taking this out and sketching. There are four or five sketches every time I go out. Um, tried different apps, but I have to say um, this this is the one I'm getting the best results with. Oh, it's not finished. It's nowhere near finished because look, I've just got to put these in these little marks so I can take the eraser. And just sort of put some of these little circle marks on there. Fancy forgetting that. Wow. Um. Yeah, um, I just love going out with this. 
sketching really good fun really good fun uh and i did take uh, um because the battery on this last time i took it out wasn't too good it was um i'd only got about 40 percent left i forgot to charge it up so i did take a, a, a an actual pad sketch pad as well so i could uh, do some sketching uh, as well uh, with if if my ipad died on me and it did and I, I i did a few pencil sketches oh my god it seemed once i developed this style of sketching it seemed really really, really clumsy working with with a pencil and I, I didn't have an eraser so i had to be careful that i was um drawing accurately uh let's put a few little lines in like that just add a bit more detail to the that just makes the trees pop a little bit doesn't it there we go so um yeah that is it that is it a very quick video showing you how you can use your ipad to go out sketching uh, i've not really got myself set up properly to do uh, a video out there um in the wild yet but i've sort of brought the skills back that um i developed whilst going out sketching to show you those so i hope you found this video useful if you have big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing because i've got lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so don't forget everybody stay safe stay sane and keep painting and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye <laughs>